Well done, boys and girls. I want to read you a story today called Lost and Found. It's by Oliver Jeffers. There once was a boy, and one day he found a penguin at his door. Really? The boy didn't know where it had come from, and it began to follow him everywhere. The penguin looked sad, and the boy thought, must be lost. So the boy decided to help the penguin find its way home. He checked in at the lost and found office, but no one was missing a penguin. He asked some birds if they knew where the penguin had come from, but they ignored him. Some birds are like that. The boy asked his duck, as you do, and the duck floated away. He didn't know. That night, the boy couldn't sleep for disappointment. He wanted to help the penguin, but he didn't know how. The next morning he discovered, through a book, that penguins come from the South Pole. But how could he get there? He ran down to the harbour and asked a big ship to take them to the South Pole. But his voice was too small, here he is, right down there, to be heard over the ship's horn. So the boy, a bit of uh, tenacity this boy, he and the penguin decided they'd row to the South Pole. The boy took out his rowboat and they tested it for size and strength. They'll measure tape and the hammer, as you do. And they packed everything they would need and together they pushed the rowboat out to sea. And where's their life jackets? Anyway, they rowed for many days and nights and the boy telling stories all the way and the penguin listened to everything the boy said. It's a very polite penguin. They floated through the good weather and the bad, and the waves were as big as mountains. Which is what it's like in the Southern Ocean. Until finally, brrr, they came to the South Pole. The boy was delighted, but the penguin said nothing. Suddenly it looked sad again as the boy helped it out of the boat. It's got a sign, Welcome to the South Pole. The boy said goodbye to the penguin. And then he floated away in his boat. But as he looked back, the penguin looked sadder than ever. There's the penguin's umbrella. Felt strange to be on his own. And the more he thought and the more he realised... He was making a big mistake. The penguin wasn't lost. He was just lonely. Quickly, he headed the boat around and headed back to the South Pole as fast as he could. Who's that on the other side of the iceberg? At last, he reached the pole again. But where was the penguin? The boy searched and searched but he was nowhere to be found. Sadly, the boy set off for home. There was no point telling stories because there was no one to listen, except the wind and the waves. And then the boy saw something way in the distance. Got closer and closer until he could see it was a penguin in his umbrella. Big hug time. And so the boy and his friend went home together, taking, talking of wonderful things all the way. You can see they hitched a ride on the back of a great blue whale. It's a little bit of make-believe. I wouldn't sit out in a rowboat out from Auckland Harbour thinking you're going to end up at the South Pole. Particularly not without a life jacket. 
But it's a make-believe story in that sense. But in another sense, sometimes people aren't lost, they're lonely. They want to find their way home to a community, they want to find their way home to a home. They want to be with other people. And that's the point of the story about being friends, being a true friend to another person, or in this case, a penguin. Have a great week. Bye.